Hey there, my name's Curtis Lucas and you're watching Empire Building. So I keep going back to try to finish this Super Bull Moon Boy price prediction video for Riot and Mara, but every time I do, my research keeps taking me down these rabbit holes until I found something that I just had to share with you in a separate video. So I had to put everything else on hold just so I could cover this. As always, I must continue to urge you to do your own research and make your own investment decisions. The information that I'm going to share with you was based on my research and my understanding of those findings. I've noticed in the comments and the video traffic, as well as my own analytics, that Riot is far more popular than any of the other companies in terms of search volume. And looking at Google Trends only confirms that. Riot is by far the favorite of the litter, with the exception of Mara for that brief period when it was on fire in August. I am still sour that I missed out on that. With so much attention on Riot, I decided to dig deeper into them to bring you more relevant content. What I found was not what I expected, and I'm ashamed to say that this was staring me right in the face when I was researching my last video on the dilution of Riot shares due to the capital raise that they recently announced with their at-the-market offering. But I am bringing it to you now. Before I get into this, I want to disclose yet again that I do not currently own any shares in Riot. I sold out of that position months ago. But I have been just as bullish on Riot as I have been on any of the other blockchain companies. But when I do my research, I try to approach it with as little bias and preconceptions as possible. And I just go where the information takes me. Trading these stocks is risky enough without bringing your own emotions into the picture as well. I find that this leads to my least favorite part of crypto, this us versus them mentality that's so prevalent throughout the space. People get so entrenched in their camps that they can't see what's staring them right in the face. And we are all guilty of this, at least on some level, myself included. So having said all of that, here's what I found and you can do with this information what you will. For those of you who don't know, Riot entered into a co-location mining contract with Coinman LLC. On April 8, 2020, Riot Blockchain Inc. entered into the Coinman co-location mining services agreement with Coinman LLC for up to 9,500 kilowatt hours of energy to power up to 4,000 new Antminer S17 Pro miners pursuant to the terms of the Coinman agreement. Riot will deliver in stages up to 4,000 of its miners to Coinmint's Messina, New York facility, which will host the miners, including performing all maintenance in order to operate the miners. In exchange, Coinmint will receive a performance fee based on the net digital assets generated by the miners deployed at the Coinmint facility. Riot expects that the Coinmint agreement will reduce its costs associated with operating the miners and provide riot with the opportunity to expand its total hashing capacity. The initial term of the Coinmin agreement is for a period of six months after the effective date of April 8, 2020, and provides for automatic renewal terms of three months unless terminated earlier by riot or Coinmin upon 90 days notice to the other party. So that six month period was up in October. So now they're on a three month rolling renewal period for the agreement. I found this agreement to be rather odd because one would think that Riot would want to be able to have some kind of assurances that they would be able to continue to operate their miners in a long-term agreement. But let's move on. As I mentioned, I overlooked something inside the S3 filing that Riot filed with the SEC on December 4th. One of the requirements for filing to do an additional capital raise is that they need to disclose any updated or new risk factors to the company's business plan. Usually these risk factors are fairly generic and hypothetical, but sometimes they can be quite telling. In this case, it was downright shocking. If pursuant to our co-location mining services agreement with Coinmint, Coinmint cannot or will not supply sufficient electric power for us to operate our new miners, we may be required to relocate some or all of our miners to an alternative facility which may have a less advantageous cost structure and our business and results of operations may suffer as a result. We have made a significant capital investment in new generation miners because we believe we will be able to operate them to mine Bitcoin at prices advantageous to us. 
We believe, based on information presently available to us, that the coinment agreement provides many advantages as opposed to other alternative arrangements. If we are required to deploy or move our miners from coinment to another mining facility, we may be forced to accept less advantageous terms. Further, during relocation to a new mining facility, we will not be able to operate our miners, and therefore we will not be able to generate revenue. Currently, we anticipate requiring approximately 71 megawatts of electric power to operate all of our anticipated fleet of 22,640 Model S17, Model S17 Pro, S19, and S19 Pro miners once the balance of the 15,600 S19 Pro miners have been received by July 2021. If we are unable to secure sufficient power from Coinment through an amended agreement, or if Coinment is unable to supply sufficient electric power, we may be forced to seek an alternative mining facility. Should this occur, our operations may be disrupted and our business results may suffer. To be clear, this is not saying with any certainty that this will happen. But it does beg the question, why would you enter into an agreement with such a short time horizon and such low capacity when you know you plan to expand to seven times that amount for miners that you've already purchased. But that's not all, there's more. If our co-location mining services agreement with Coinment is terminated, we may be forced to seek a replacement facility to operate our miners on acceptable terms. Should this occur, our operations may be disrupted and our business results may suffer. The initial term of the Coinment agreement ended on October, 2020, and pursuant to its terms was automatically renewed for a three month term and will automatically renew for successive three month terms unless earlier terminated by either Riot or Coinmint. Coinmint's owners are subject to an ongoing litigation seeking its dissolution, which may affect Coinmint's operations for an indeterminable amount of time. If Coinmint's operations are stalled or if Coinmint is dissolved as a result of this litigation, we will be forced to exercise our right to terminate the Coinmint agreement and we will be required to identify an alternative solution to Coinment. Further, the litigation may require the temporary closure of the mine, and while our agreement with Coinment clearly provides us with unrestricted access to our miners, should this occur, we cannot guarantee that we will be able to successfully retrieve our miners from Coinment's facility. If we are forced to relocate to a new mining facility, we may not be successful in identifying adequate replacement facilities to house our miners. And even if we do identify such facilities, we may not be able to secure use of those facilities at rates that are economically viable to support our mining activities. Relocating our mine will require us to incur costs to transition to a new facility, including, but not limited to, transportation expenses and insurance, downtime while we are unable to mine, legal fees to negotiate the new lease, deinstallation at the current facility, and ultimately installation at any new facility we identify. These costs may be substantial and we cannot guarantee that we will be successful in transitioning our miners to a new facility. If we are required to move our miners or the ongoing litigation at Coinment affects our miners, our business may suffer and the results of our operation may be adversely affected. Well, holy sh sound the alarm. Emergency, emergency. But remember, these are hypothetical outcomes. What are the odds that this might actually happen? I mean, how bad could this litigation between the owners at Coinment actually be? Well, the founder of a Messina cryptocurrency mine are fighting, the founders, I should say, are fighting each other in court. It could impact operations at what's billed as the world's largest digital currency operation. 7 News reporter Keith Benman has the story. Coinman co-founder Pierre Leary, shown here two years ago, wants to sell the company. His co-founding partner doesn't. Leary sued. Now he's locked out of Coinman. We've lined up a deal, um, not only to resolve the current situation, but to bring the facility to its full capacity. Co-founder Ashton Soniat says there's no such deal. Now he and Leary each accuse the other of stealing company funds. They've wrestled in court over email servers and bank statements. Certainly the case is, this has gotten very ugly. Leary wants the court to dissolve and sell the company. He says it's in bad shape. His partner says it's doing fine. Soniet's lawyer says Leary is misleading people. 
He didn't want to be recorded, but said this. Anytime anyone is going out and spreading disinformation, that's a dangerous thing. Sony at site says 49 contractors working at CoinMint recently became company employees. There's 65 employees working there now. When CoinMint opened, the company said they could eventually employ 150 people. So far, CoinMint is the only cryptocurrency miner to have established a large presence in Messina. Others have come and gone. They come for the cheap electricity, but it's a volatile business. And at CoinMint and Messina, it's a little bit more so these days. Keith Benman, 7 News. So, here's the thing. All of this could turn out to be just nothing at all. And everything could work out just awesome. But the thing is, in this space, you have choices. You don't have to go out and buy a stock just because everyone else is. There's no need to expose yourself to unnecessary risk. In my opinion, why would you take that chance? As we move forward, I think the biggest factor that will set these mining companies apart from each other will be how well they can vertically integrate. Far too many of them outsource everything from the installation, the maintenance, and even the housing of their miners. They have very little control over their process, which I think puts them at risk. Further to this, I should update you on the reality of what occurred following the announcement that Riot was planning to dilute shares by dumping them on the open market. They dumped 16.6 .6 million shares since I posted that video. That is a dilution of 32.6% so far. It is not clear how much they actually raised as a result of this, but one could venture a guess that it's somewhere around $150 million if you assume $9 a share. It would seem as though they thought they needed this money in a hurry before something happened. In my opinion, not a fact. If you're wondering how bad could it get, well, let's use Hive as a case study. In April of 2019, Hive Blockchain terminated its agreement with Genesis Mining. And on the news, the stock dropped 25% in one day and 40% by the time it found a bottom. And Hive had other data centers that they were still operating. Riot has no other facilities. All of their eggs are in one basket, and they don't even own the basket. If you were wondering, Mara has a co-location joint venture agreement with its partner, Beowulf Energy, for the facility that they will be building out over the course of 2021. But there are some key differences. Mara owns the facility outright, and they are not sharing the facility with anyone else. The power comes from a power plant adjacent to the site that will supply Mara's facility exclusively with up to 100 megawatts, which as of the last announcement, Mara has completed enough orders for S19 Pro miners to max out the capacity for that mine with a staggering 3.56 equihashes per second. The term of this joint venture is for five years with up to five additional three year extensions. And my favorite part is that they got all this without spending any cash, taking on any debt, or dumping shares on the open market. Beowulf was compensated with 3 million shares of Mara upon entering the agreement and an additional 850,000 shares in four phases while the facility is built out. And one more thing, Mara gets to keep 100% of the Bitcoin mined for itself. Now that's how you set up a deal. To put this into perspective, with the $150 million raise that Riot just pulled off, they could have funded the equivalent of four of these deals with shares to spare. Instead, they chose cash, so it's not clear, as of now, if they have any other prospects for potential location alternatives to Coinment. It was also nice to see that Mara was able to ink this new deal in shares instead of cash because it shows a level of confidence from their new partner Beowulf Energy that they were willing to take an investment in Mara as opposed to just being paid up front in cash. Now I am sorry if I'm bursting your riot bubble right now but as far as I'm concerned the party's over and I'm blowing the whistle. What really bothers me here is the litigation between the owners at Coinman has been in place since the beginning of the year yet Riot still chose to enter into this agreement with them. That tells me that the management did not do their due diligence. Now, I hate to throw shade at them because I do believe that Riot is trying to do big things in this space and they are supporting the greater Bitcoin ecosystem, but they are going to have to make some major changes before I'm willing to put my money on the line with them. What do you think of all of this? Has any of this changed your mind?
Are you still prepared to stick it out with Riot? Talk about it down in the comments. If you got any value out of this, then please tap that like button and help build this empire. And I hope I've earned your subscription. I wish I could bring more videos out to you faster, but these rabbit holes take some time to go through. Thank you for your continued support. Now let's get back to empire building. Bye.